Alright, so PlayStation Plus Premium just launched a few days ago in both the UK and Ireland, and I just upgraded to it today myself. So I'm just going to give a quick overview of my and my own quick thoughts and opinions. So without uh, dragging this out too much, let's get right into it. I'll just go over the basic tiers or the tiers of the subscription. So I have the Premium plan, which more or less gives me access to everything that PlayStation Plus has to offer and more. So, I'm not sure if it'll be worth it at the moment, seeing as it's just launched, but we'll take a quick look see. So, fine, we'll just go over the essentials. The essentials is basically PlayStation Plus regular by itself. You still, you still get your free, free monthly games, you still get your online access to multiplayer, all that good stuff, uh, exclusive packs. I don't even know why that's a thing, because that's just basically free free crap for online MMOs and whatnot. So, like Fortnite, Regenshin, Impact. Uh, Warzone combat pack. I'm, I'm not sure. It's just all these cosmetic add-ons. It doesn't really interest me in the slightest. But, yeah. So here we have the PlayStation Plus games, or the PlayStation Plus game catalog. This one will set you back about $13.99 a month. And with that, you get a few extra PS4 and PS5 games. So you can stream them and you can download them. For some of them, I think it you can only stream them but for the majority, you can download them. So let's say Spider-Man Miles Morales. Jesus Christ, I've, I bought that game along with the PS5 and I still haven't played it yet. So you can so you can download them. So a lot of these games, you can download. Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Okay, so let's just go through them. So you get quite, quite a few decent games here. I mean, look, Demon's Souls, Ghost of Tsushima, the director's cut. Returnal, Returnal, that, that just only came out this year. Spider-Man, uh, Naruto... Ultimate Ninja Storm 4, Guardians of the Galaxy, Death Stranding. That's in my library already because I have it downloading in the background. Uh, Death Stranding PS4, Horizon Zero Dawn, I have that. God of War, already have that. Bloodborne, Injustice, Fun Fantasy. Jeez, all these games are pretty fucking decent. Days Gone, which I just played through and passed, got the platinum. I recommend you download that as well yourself. Because this was part of the initial PlayStation Plus... Uh, the PlayStation Plus catalog that came out when the PS5 launched, and they only played it there about a week or two ago. Decent. So, uh, Shadow of the Colossus, Detroit Become Human, Infamous Second Son. I was playing through that as well. It'll be planned to follow for all of these games are triple A titles, and if you're getting them for like what thirteen ninety nine a month. Oh my God, little little hope. Uh, what was the one before that? Man of Medan. Is, is Man of Medan here or Man of Medan? Oh, Final Fantasy. Nice. Hello, neighbor. Ah, and Man of Medan as well. That's here as well. Ooh, lots of Final Fantasy games here. I've been meaning to really get into Final Fantasy, to be honest, but I've never dedicated enough time to do it. I don't know. Maybe it's, it's just me. Maybe it's just the spirit isn't there yet. Like, I'm, I'm willing, but... When it comes down to it, I spend most of my time playing Overwatch. Medieval, I bought that, I never played it. Killzone, all of these... Oh shit, Uncharted The Lost Legacy, I've been wanting to play that for ages. So that is going in the download bucket. It's about the only Uncharted game I haven't played, bar Gold and Abyss, because it was on the PS Vita, and I never owned a PS Vita. I want to buy one at some point. Shenmue 3, Shenmue, 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 Shenmue 3, I have that, Knack. I played that, I got it ages ago, Destruction All-Stars, this was already a free game with PlayStation Plus going back, I think it was Christmas, yeah, absolute, so you're getting an absolute shite ton of games here for $13.99 a month, Grip, uh-huh, Mighty Number no. 9, uh-huh, uh -huh. Bubsy, <laughs> Uh, good old Bubsy. Uh, yeah, a lot of these now are uh, indie games down here. Too dark. I've seen that in GameStop, and I looked at the uh, the, the cover art and the back of the box for it. It looked fairly interesting. Hmm, I actually might play that at some point as well. I say that about a lot of games, but I never followed through with it. But yes, there is at least, at least a good, there's f five, five lines of games and God knows how many rows 
I'd say there's got to be at least 200 plus games here, if not more. And all of them are like all these major AAA titles. And man, do they look awesome. Alright, so that's just essential. So you get a good few PS4 and PS5 games, $13.99 a month. Definitely worth the asking price. Then you have the premium here. Again, it gives you uh, access to cloud streaming, the classic catalog, and game trials. Game trials, uh, I'm, I'm a bit iffy on the thought of game trials because it only gives you limited access. So it gives you about four or five hour play time of, the, of some games available on the, on the servers here. So let's say Horizon Forbidden Dawn, Cyberpunk Uncharted, The Legacy of Thieves. Um... There's not a lot of games here, to be honest, for me to recommend it. I mean, sure, Horizon Forbidden Dawn, which is a new enough game, which only came out this year. And Tony Tina's Wonderland Cyberpunk, that came out last year. You have WWE here for PS5. Sure, Farming Simulator. F fuck off. <laughs> no. No, no, why? Why this game? Okay, I can justify every other game here to an extent. Lego City. When did this game come out? This this is an, an old game. This came out... 2017! This game is five years old. And you're providing a trial for it. Come on, I could justify the trials if you had a few decent new enough games lined up. Let's say I could name a few Hitman 3, even though that, that's old enough at this stage, but still, it's still a, a pretty decent game for what it is. But Lego City? Biomutant? No, 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 no. Sure, Cyberpunk, maybe, because a few people might be on the edge of whether or not they want to buy it or not, because it had a pretty... Um, rough launch but these crusader kings like isn't this like a, a mobile like, like isn't it just like a a tabletop game it is like why why i i i, I don't get it i don't get it okay fine well what, what whatever i'm i'm not too gone on the time to trials okay you get the point so we have the classics catalog as well so we have so in this we have Jack and Dexter, Jack 2, Star Wars, Dark Cloud, Dark Chronicle. I'm familiar with Dark Cloud because when I bought my PS2 I got the demo disc with it and I remember Dark Cloud being one of the games on it and it was kind of a spooky game for me at the time because I was only like 8 or 9 years old when I got it. And is this all the games? Okay now so Jack 1, Jack 2 Wait, is there Jack 3? No Jack 3. Okay, it doesn't matter either way because I already bought these. These two games here, even though I have them, they're a bit of a letdown because they were the, the PS2 ports and not the PS3 HD remastered. So, uh, graphically, they weren't that impressive. Okay, Star Wars Bounty Hunter, Dark Cloud, all of these games. Oh, Forbidden Siren, that's a pretty decent game. Again, all direct... PS2 ports, so don't expect any fancy upscaling or, or anything like that. Uh, yeah, Primal, Toy Story 2, I might play through that at some point in my own time. Tekken 2, Oddworld, yeah, so these are all the PS1 games. Uh, bit of an underwhelming lineup of games, to be honest. And this this price or the, the price for this tier is $16.99 a month I think yeah $16.99 a month and we also have remasters so let's see what we have all together so these are remasters of PS3 games for PS4 so The Last of Us remastered Uncharted Collection Harry Potter Collection so you get all how many games there's like seven games uh, Borderlands Collection, that's Borderlands 1 and 2, I do believe. God of War 3 Remastered, Gravity Rush, Beyond Two Souls, uh, Resident Evil, ooh. I really want to play through that at some point. 
Mafia Definitive Edition. I bought that actually. Uh, I, I have the case here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoopsie daisies, whoopsie daisies. I'm gonna cause a fucking catastrophe here in a sec. Yeah, <laughs> wow, well. I think I showed this off before. I already have that. I have all three games here, and I bought these in my place of work for like a 20 euro or something like that. It was it was a steal, but yeah, fairly decent lineup of games. I got nothing bad to say about them. We got the Batman's, uh, Badger, Deadlight. Loco Roco, which I do believe was released on the PSP initially. The Bioshock games, okay, yeah, not not bad, not not bad. Heavy, heavy rain. You've got a few um, heavy hitters here, or heavy hitters. So not too bad, not not too bad at all. And then you have the PS3 collection of games right here. All right, let's just quickly go through a lot of. Uh, Anime Boo Boo games. Batman again. Bolt. What the fuck is that even on there? The freaking Disney game. Nobody cares. Oh, we got the Devil May Cry HD collection. Not bad, not bad. Uh, Atoll Duke Nukem. Mm -hmm. One of the classics. Fear. God of War. Do they have Braid? Because uh, I was playing Braid on PlayStation now going back a few months ago. And I was enjoying it. In fact, I'm waiting on the remastered version to come out. But I think that is in development hell. We got Ninja Gaiden. Pirates of the Caribbean or Caribbean, whatever you want to call it. Port Royale 3. Kung Fu. Wait, Ragdoll Kung Fu. Ooh, you have the Ratchet and Clank games here. So you have a crack in time. Ratchet and Clank Nexus. Q4. So you don't have the original one. Oh, rain. So all of these games here you have to stream. Uh, right. So pretty much the same as PlayStation Now if you already had it before. You're basically streaming these games from either a virtual PS3 console or an actual physical PS3 console somewhere. And if that's the case, if it's a physical PS3 console, whoo, you doggy, that ain't going to last. Yes, I'm surprised you can't download these games yet to your actual PS5. I mean, if... Sony want this to be a true competitor to the Xbox Game Pass. We need to be able to download a lot of these games. Like we need true backwards compatibility, not just streaming. Okay, so let I'll just try and, and do a quick recap here. How wait, wait, hold on. Did I see see Red Dead? I think I saw Red Dead. Oh yeah, we do. Okay, nice, nice. So Sniper Elite V2. You got a few Resident Evil games. Ugh. I'm gonna pretend I didn't even see that game. But uh, yeah, Undead Nightmare. All of these games, and of course, trophies are probably more than likely gonna be included in that if you're a trophy hunter like me. I didn't see uh, Braid. What happened to Braid? Can I not search for it here? Is is no, no, don't fucking tell me. Don't tell me they pulled games from PS Now when they were doing the amalgamation here. No, 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 don't tell me that. Don't, 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 don't tell me that. Please tell me I miss it. Okay, so let's sort these by, by genre. Okay, I can't, res I can't sort them by console. Uh, A to Z. A, A, B, 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 but, 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 no, okay, maybe, maybe, hold on, maybe, 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 maybe it's in my collection, I know I, I was playing it ages ago, great, here we go, it, it's gone, it's gone, Braid. <laughs> For love of God, Sony, what the hell? You're supposed to be amalgamating the PlayStation Now service and integrating it with PlayStation Plus. You didn't mention anything about removing games. What the hell? You you removed, it seems like you removed a decent sized chunk of PS3 games from the PS Now library. Why, why, why would you do that? Why? Oh, lordy, I mean, maybe it's got something to do with licensing issues and whatnot, but uh, I I don't know. I really want to get back into Braid. 
I was also playing The Witness, which is a bit of a puzzle game. It's a, it's a very hard game, but it's absolutely stunning in terms of visuals. I mean, not like Uncharted levels of stunning, but just how the colors really pop out at you. But uh, yeah, getting back on track. So for $16.99 a month, is it worth it? I mean, that's subjective. To me, no, at the moment, the $16.99 asking price is not worth it, at least just yet. You need to add on or add in a few extra PS1 games, PS2, PS2 games, and PSP games. There's not a lot to justify me holding on to the $16.99 a month, because I was very excited when they mentioned having a PS1 library of games. But, I don't know, maybe in the next few months... They'll continue to add on or add in more and more PS1 and PS2 titles. But at the moment, like I said, I can't justify the $16.99 a month. At least for me. Sure, there are a few decent PS3 games there. There are a few decent remasters. But I think I'll probably just stick to the regular old PlayStation Plus. Not even the extra because I have enough games in my collection to keep me going. I don't see myself paying more and more e each month because it's just another direct debit coming out of my account and I don't like a lot of direct debits coming out of my account it's just a me thing hell I mean at some stage I might even have PlayStation Plus anymore not that I'm going over to Xbox it's just I have a lot of games here I don't play online multiplayer a lot I the only game I really play online is Overwatch and that's on the PC I might play the odd game of uh, Rocket League or Dead by Daylight but those are the only games I really play in terms of multiplayer games. If I had to make a recommendation, I'd say sure, get the PlayStation Plus Extra. It gives you a few decent PS4 and PS5 games for $13.99 a month. But as for the streaming aspect of PS3 games, some people say cloud gaming is the future, but that also depends on the infrastructure of your country, your county, or wherever you're living in. I mean, me, I'm living in the middle of the sticks at the moment, but I'm lucky enough to be able to get one gig fiber broadband to my house. So. Downloading games, streaming games will never be an issue for me. So that's, uh, that's a plus. But like not many people have that privilege of having fiber broadband enabled in their area. But outside of that, outside of that, I am excited to see what Sony do with this in the future. I want to see them add more games as I've already said. And yeah, hope, hopefully it will get even better and better. And we will see more and more games added to the library over time. But yeah. Those are my thoughts and opinions, so if you did enjoy this video, if you did enjoy my thoughts, if you have any comments to add, if you think I could have improved this video any bit, leave a comment in the comment section below, and of course, like always guys, I will see you in the next one, so on to the next time. See ya.